Hey guys, CruisingX back with more Final Fantasy 14 goodness. We just finished patch 2.2 uh we just finished patch 2.1 of Realm Awoken and so I decided this little video would be uh a little bit of uh an add-on. Um now patch 2.2 um, added something additional that we're going to, uh, be doing. And, uh, it's this quest right here called Beauty is Only Scalp Deep. And, uh, I'll explain it to you in a minute. What it means. You're either a brave man or a fool, friend, to be wandering the streets of Limsa today. What with the slasher of Fisherman's Bottom on the loose? You've not heard. He's a mad. There's a madman about. Why, it said he brandished his blade so long and sharp they could get a whale. No one's seen any blood yet. But that hasn't stopped the rumors from sending shivers up spines in every alehouse in town. That you're still standing before me tells me you don't scare as easily as the rest. Perhaps you could assist in the investigation. To start with, you might want to look into that scream I just heard outside. <sighs> For. That's him! The slasher! Apprehend him! Toss him in gaul! And throw away the key! Or gut him and feed his lifeless body to the sharks for all I can! Just do something! Woe is me! Woe is me! Whatever did I do to deserve this cruel fate? For six moons I saved every last kill of my husband's hard earned wage! For going new shoes, a new purse, sometimes even food for our children! All in anticipation of this day! You know what? I'm not even reading this. Emote. I'm just gonna do this shit. Where's Del? <sighs> Okay, so we need to visit Hananza first, which is easy enough because she's just south of our current location. Jandeline, Jandeline sent you. Let me guess, the balmy fool lost his tools. Pardon me, the appendages of his very soul. Again? And is thrashing and tossing like the end of days is nigh. The man brings it on himself. If he toned down the theatrics and went about his work like an earnest craftsman, I dare say he'd save himself these misunderstandings. No, I've not a whit of sympathy for the fool. You, however, have my pity indeed for having to play audience to his white for his winging. Henry Road, this should put shut him up for a while. Tell them, tell him if that, he, that if he loses these, I'll graft the next pair into his bloody hands. Next to New Gridania, where we'll speak with the Carpenters Guild.
Conveniently, the Carbonated Guild is right near the Aetherite Crystal. A message from Jandalane, you say? So he lost another one. <sighs> does the man not understand that wood doesn't simply grow on... Uh, actually, it does. At least in a manner of speaking. But the fact remains that resources are in short, short supply. For all his flowery words, if his tools were truly an extension of his very being, one would think he'd find a way to hold on to him for more than a fortnight or two. Chandelier's skills are not to be doubted, but his temperament leaves much to be desired. Still, it is not my place to judge. Take this to him and let us both hope that he will right his ways. Alright, and finally, Severine at the Alchemist Guild in Olda. You've come on behalf of Jandalane. Why, I just furnished him with a fresh batch of my special creations last week. I realize the man's services are in demand, but it would be physically impossible. It would be physically impossible for him to exhaust the entire supply so soon. Stolen, you say? An unfortunate turn of events indeed, if not entirely unexpected. You see, the man is not something of a genius, and genius is often misunderstood by modest minds. Trust me, as I speak from extensive personal experience. Yes, great minds must band together in trying times, lest the realm be deprived of our talents. And so, I command you, deliver this parcel to Jandalin with all speed. Works for me. I just want to get this done. All right, back to the aft castle. All right, we've got it. And now we've got... Oh, look. Oh, dear. Nope, nope.
Hmm. What the heck? Okay. Oh, sorry. I I'm kind of like dozing off here, so... I'm not even paying attention to this, really. I just wanted to be done with this so I can unlock this so that we can show you what... The Aesthetician is now available. Now this... Now, okay, if you play Final Fantasy XIV, you prob... and you haven't unlocked this yet, you've probably noticed how some, uh... Some of your friends freaking uh, like to change their hairstyles from time to time. And you're probably wondering, oh, how do I do that? What the hell? I want to change my hairstyle. Well, that quest we just did is uh, the quest you need to do in order to unlock the, the, uh, the aesthetician. Um, once you're done with the aesthetician, um, you unlock... The crystal bell in all in rooms, um, and that summons Jandeline, Jandeline, who we're going to summon right now. And we're going to go into character edit, and this brings you to the character editor where you can change up certain aspects of your character. Now you can change up face paint color, you can change up the other features, the lip color, the eyebrows. In Aura's case, you can change up the limbo ring color and limbo rings. You can, and of course, you can change your hair color. Now in patch 3.33, they released new hairstyles, so I've been meaning to check them out for a while, but I haven't really had the chance to. Ugh, that pompadour. I don't know how people could wear that. Uh, I don't know. Nope. Nope. Um, I don't know. I really don't have... To be honest with you, I've always been stuck stupid on this ponytail. Because it just goes so well with the whole ensemble. Short hair, horns, the whole, the whole nine. But, uh... I mean, if they had that, maybe, without the, uh, sides, I'd be a little bit more inclined to try it out, but... Alright, but, um... You know what? I'm gonna change it to this one, just for the hell of it, because we haven't... I haven't used this hair in a long time. Um, we're gonna keep it the same color because God forbid I change it up. We're gonna go with, uh... No, 
No, we're gonna keep the limbo rings because they they really uh they really bring out your eyes in a way if you know how to do it. Yeah, I like having eyebrows, but I am going to change that. Much better. Now, I'm going to finalize the character appearance. Now, if you have a gent and a statistician token, you can use it. Otherwise, you'll have to play 2,000 gil. Uh, in this case, we're going to pay the 2,000 because I don't feel like using the token just yet. And that's it. And that's it. We've unlocked uh, haircuts. Um, now, there are several other unlockable hairstyles that you can get. Um... One of them, uh, well, um, uh, let me see, uh, um, but yeah, it, uh, it's basically, um, So basically, yeah, that's essentially how the aesthetician works. Um, we might continue with the next patch update. Um, actually, no, no, no. Now, now that I think about it, um, we can do the next. We can do the next bit of content that. Uh, that we've been neglecting. Um, well, not neglecting. We haven't really... I didn't think about doing it until just now. But um, in the next... Uh, next time we... Uh, re next time we return, it's going to be a whole new ball game because we are going to be unlocking uh, our first ever 24 man... Wait. 8. 16 yeah our first 24 man raid so uh be sure to stay tuned for that but until then cruise the gex out